Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to mark assessments via your browser. This video assumes assessments have been set up and completed by at least one learner. Please refer to previous videos if you do not meet these requirements. To begin, we're going to add the online assessments widget to our dashboard. Click your logo in the top left corner to be taken to the dashboard. Next, click the settings cogwheel just underneath the logo and choose add widget. Scroll down and find the online assessments widget and select the button. Once loaded, the widget should show a list of submissions ready for marking. Choose one by clicking the assessment name. This will redirect you to the assessment marking page. You can also access an assessment instance which will allow you to mark all submissions for one instance. First, mouse over the Assessments menu and choose Assessment Management. Select your assessment task and then select the instance on the right. Next, press Mark in the top right. You will be taken to the Assessment Instance Overview page. This page gives you some information about the whole task including learner progression and question performance. You can now work through the attempts by clicking Begin Marking in the top right or selecting a learner in the sidebar down the left. I'm not going to cover this interface in detail as we already have an existing video which explains all elements of this page. I've included it as an annotation on screen now. I'm now going to go through and mark Marcel's attempt. As you can see, most of the questions have been automatically marked based off the correct answers given during the assessment setup. The only question I have to mark is the short answer question. Once complete, you can click finalize marking in the top right corner, which will release results to learners. If you're not ready to release results, you can come back at a later time to press finalize. Your marking is automatically saved as you go. If you wish to grant the learner additional attempts, you may do this by clicking the Attempts drop down near the top and choosing New Attempt. You can also use this drop down to view the history of submitted attempts. Back in the Learner Portal, choose the Assessments Completed tab and then the assessment you've just marked. You will be shown the overview again, however, a new tab will be visible in the top labelled Results. If you would like students to automatically receive an email for when their assessment results have been finalised, you can do this using the workflow system. I've included a video which will guide you through the setup for an assessment submission. You will need to use an assessment completion trigger to notify students that their results are ready. In summary, this video has demonstrated how to find and mark students' assessments results from your browser. The following video will demonstrate how to mark student results from the Accelerate Trainer app.